Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. You got EST Ski Mark. You got, got the youngest son, EST Lil Mike. EST, what y'all on, gang? Power to you, man. Just chilling on tour, getting to it. Yeah. Rap hustle. For sure that, man. Well, welcome to DJ UTV. Welcome to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's definitely a blessing to have y'all in the building, man. So, 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 so y'all on tour right now, you say? Yeah. Tell us about the tour. Tell us what bring y'all into Chicago today. We got a show tonight. We got a show tonight. Uh, shoot, doors open around like eight, around now. What's the name of the venue? Avon Dead. Avon Dead. Avon Dead Music Hall. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the tour y'all on right now? El Toro Tour. El Toro Tour. Yeah. And who the headline? ESCG. ESCG. Okay. Right. So what city y'all coming from? Detroit. Y'all was in Detroit last night? Uh-huh. How was that? That was lit. Turn. Yeah. Turn. You know, I, I, know D, I know Detroit, but y'all, for sure. Yeah. Everywhere we've been, though, we've been out with them. Free doggy for shit, Yeah, 342 for sure. Everywhere we've been, though, been with us. Yeah. yeah how, how long y'all been on tour? Like, how long this tour been going? This been going September 20th. Yeah, uh, 26, September 26. September, okay. Yeah, so, so it's kind of just now starting. Yeah, yeah. It's like a week and a half, yeah. That's what's up, man. Uh, so, so yeah, like I said, welcome to Chicago, man. It's definitely a blessing to have y'all. But we, you know, we want to get to know y'all since y'all here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Ski Mike, we got Lil Mike. Both y'all named Mike. Y'all yeah. brothers? Yeah, yeah, that's my little brother. <laughs> okay. Sure. So tell us though, where y'all from? I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky? Yeah. That's where everybody from? Yeah. I'm from Louisville, yeah, from the East End, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm from right. West End, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. So can y'all tell us what it's like growing up in Louisville, Kentucky? Because all I know is that's where Muhammad Ali from, right? Yeah. That's all I know. Where EST from, that's where we from, you know what I'm saying? We, right. we putting on them, but yeah, that's where Muhammad Ali's from, Bryce Tiller, Jack Harlow. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of, a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. Well, so, so what was it like growing up in them trenches, though? Yeah, like any other, but any other trenches, you know, enterprises, all type of shit, get into, yeah, niggas, you know. Y'all grew up playing football and shit. Yeah, I played football. Right. Play football, I'm there, bro. Hey, but what I want to know is, what um, uh, who who started EST? How did y'all come up with that? <clears throat> it was more like, you know what I'm saying, our big brother started, you know what I'm saying? Everybody signed together, that's what it stands for. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, no man above one another. You know what I'm saying? We all shining. We all grinding too. Hard in the motherfucker. Everybody. You know what I'm everybody got their job and everybody handling their business. Yeah. Now, when I was doing my little research on you, Ski Mike, I learned that you were shot 15 times. Yeah. You survived 15 shots. Oh, you got shot at 15 times. By 15 shots. Really? Wow, so you harder than 50 cents. Nah, for real. How long ago was that, bro? Like three years ago. Three years? Yeah. Just got like three years, like September 12th. Okay. You mind telling us what happened? I'm tired, But, well, like, what was the uh, recovery process like? Yeah, I had learned how to walk. Okay. Do everything over again. That shit ain't taking long though. Like, I bounced back there, I was walking in the week. You feel me? They, they said, I want to go walk it out. I was walking in the week. You feel me? That shit ain't. You know? God had other plans, huh? Right. You know, when the doctor say one thing, God said another thing. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. So, how, how long have you been rapping? I just started rapping probably like a year and a half ago. Okay. Whenever, never share it came out. I mean, you can look it up on YouTube. Whenever that came out, my first song I ever dropped. Right. I did a mean in a month though, whenever I made it, me and bro, me and Geese be on that. Okay. That was my first song I made. Okay. So cause I imagine obviously that was a life changing experience, you know? Yeah. So is that what like influenced you to get into the booth? Like, man, now I got a I got a story to tell, I got some pain, you know? Yeah, I I've been around the rap shit, just you know, pay for my I just pay for my young nigga studio time, niggas in my hood just pay for that with studio time and shit. And everybody's telling me rap, but I just ain't never you know what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm getting to it. I ain't you know, worried about no rapping shit. But you know, after that situation, you know what I'm saying? Just you know, being around 
more I'm more in the studio, but I'm more around bro in the studio now. You know what I'm saying? And shit, just his the shit he do motivate a nigga to more rap. You know what I'm saying? He work shit hard anybody I know. Right. What's up? That's what's up. And what about yourself, little Mike? How long you been rapping? Shit, since I got out of jail, like like twenty twenty one in the summer. Okay. I got time. August. I got two years now. Okay. How long was you away? Shit, I I was just I went to boot camp for like seven months. Like seven months to college with boot camp in Jackson, Kentucky, like three hours away from home. Knocked that little shit out, got back out of it. That shit went down, man. So did y'all have a like a relationship with G before the rap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my big brother. Yeah. I was more in G's in eighth grade. Well, show that. So basically y'all all came up together and, and, and now here y'all are, you know. So. Uh, G led the way and now y'all coming to, you know what I'm saying, uh, make y'all own impression on the rap game. So tell us the pros and cons y'all been, you know, dealing with so far as upcoming artists. Shit. Shit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta build your own fan base. You know what I'm saying? You know, G fans are with you, you know, because of your know, bro, but then they, you gotta put in the work in. Do do the other shit to build your own fan base at all? You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna f with you just because you, you know, see so EST. You gotta yeah. make out good music. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So it comes just grinding and, and putting in all the legwork, all the extra shit. For sure. You know bro, he's in the studio seven days a week, twenty four seven. First or first lead. I mean, last lead. First or last lead every time. You know what I'm saying? So shit, he could do it. Ain't no way we can. Yeah. So you say. ESTG work ethic is crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. You know, a lot of people don't 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 realize like how much work rappers actually put in. You know what I'm saying? They think rappers studio, just and he's the last to leave every day. Well, it's five in the morning, six in the morning. Everybody gone, he's the last thing to leave that month. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That type of energy is it, it rub off. You know what I'm saying? Like when you see a nigga working that hard, it make you want to, you know what I'm saying, do the same thing. Otherwise, you feel like you lack it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that means y'all got a good leader ahead of y'all. That's what's up. So Lil Mike, I heard you say, you know, you spent some time in jail, you some boot camp, you know what I'm saying? So when you got out, is that when you, you know, decided that you wanted to pursue a rap career? Yeah, I was in the studio with my brother. He's in the uh fears right now. His name Lil Barry, Lil Scary. I was just in there around. He, just, he like, man, get on that motherfucker. Get on there run that motherfucker. I'm like, damn, I can do this. Yeah. With this. this one for mine. That's what's up. Besides ESTG, who is some rappers that y'all like really fuck with or like really look up to one man working with? I'm gonna work with her, won't work with me. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm with my guys. You know what I'm saying? ESC Marty, ESC Don Juan, Lil Mike. You know what I'm saying? But I want to work with whoever want to work with me. You know what I'm saying? Any like dream collabs? Like somebody you always want to get on track with? I ain't never want to be a rapper. True. So, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't had time to think about all that. I ain't had time to think about all that yet. But, I mean, I got some collabs. I got some good features and shit from great artists, you know what I'm saying? Just some genuine love, just some nigga, you know, vibing and bumping into each other's studio and putting something together. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I said, well, it won't work with me. We can, we can, come on, get in, let's get it. For sure, for sure. So with y'all being some upcoming artists, you know, in 2023, 2024, you know, nowadays the rap game kind of like almost ran by the women. You know what I'm saying? What, what y'all think about the female rap game right now? Like, the 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 moves and the and the noise that ladies making. I turn, fucking with them, fucking with the movement. The female, they turn right now. The shit show. Y'all like the women. Y'all like the pussy popping rap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you talking about that? You talking about sliding on some houses? You know what I mean? Right. What's going on? Right. You know what I'm saying? We had enough of that from the guys, yeah. right? So, so when y'all when y'all you know making y'all music though, what's like a uh, not a message, but you know, what y'all be trying to relate to the audience? You know, what is it about yourself that you want to relate to the audience through your music? That no shit. Just no matter where you come from, you can 
the B song, you know what I'm No matter how many trials and tribulations you go through, whatever life throw at you, you know what I'm saying? You can get through it. You, the B, you get somewhere. Yeah. For sure that. So do y'all write y'all music? Do y'all freestyle, punch in, or how's the process? I write, I write. I write whenever I hear a beat. It's just shit, that beat just get me going. You know what I'm saying? I could freestyle a little bit of some of the shit, but most shit, I just write it down just to get the memory of it. So my flow's right. You know what I'm saying? Then from where I punch in, punch in, bob and bob, go that way. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Line. Niggas be capping. Niggas capping. What about you, little Mike? How you how you how you like to make your music? Shit, I I feel to be that shit, but I I might be writing something, then I might freeze that eight bars or something. It be however I'm feeling at the moment. So I heard you mention earlier yourself as a as a young shiner, right? And we 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 uh we heard the song, you know, young shiners. Uh, tell us what a young shiner is, though. A made man. Made man. So am I a young shiner, too? <laughs> oh, I got to get some juice. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm definitely gotta, a made man. You got to put blood, sweat, and tears in to be a young shiner. Word. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So, like, what's, uh, you know, what's, what's, what's like, some future goals y'all get for the rap? Future goals and aspirations. How far y'all trying to take this rap shit? As far as eleven. I ain't gonna lie. When I first started rapping. I looked at it like a lick. You know what I'm saying? It's just some, a lick, cause I ain't never want to do it shit. But the more I got into it, I won't do it shit. I don't try to go platinum or something, something crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't see, bro, with this plastic shit, I don't you know motivate a nigga to yeah, shit. We a step closer, you know what I'm saying? We right there, you know what I'm saying? We right there, I see the future, how he do it from nothing to, we right there, you know what I'm saying? So, man, nigga want this shit, really. I, I ain't gonna lie, I look, when I got my D, I look at it as a lick, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nigga, man, what, me? You know what I'm saying? But, nah, hell nah, want yeah. this shit. So the man shit is though, right? What if rap don't work? You know what I'm saying, this shit. Shit, we're running. Shit, something gonna work. You know what I'm saying? You got just your skills, do something else. You know what I'm saying? You're around it. You're dealing with the music and you're around this shit. You done built friendships, all type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely more more than yeah, one way to scan the cat. It's a whole lot of ways. You always need to have a plan B anyway. Yeah. In any situation. Yeah, for sure. The reason why I ask that's because you know a lot of people do put all their eggs in one basket. Yeah. And then you look up, you've been chasing the same dream for 20 years, you know? We try real estate, we want to general, general wealth type of shit, mm -hmm. you know? Building generational Build wealth, Generational sure. wealth, you know what I'm saying? We on that type of time, we ain't on, you know what I'm saying? Sitting in one, putting everything out in fucking that, that fog and that shit. Nah, we, generational wealth, we trying to get property, open stores, all type of shit. Buy land, type of shit we on. So, yeah. so we 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 uh we breaking generational curses yeah. and building generational wealth. Uh, That's what we are doing. What you say, like Jeff Fort? <laughs> what what that have to do with Jeff Fort? Hey, Jeff Fort, I ain't gonna. No, you keep talking. Getting them grants, he had all this new work. He won. I'm sorry, brother. Now, folks. You know, Jeff Ford was on the Sun Time yesterday. It said Chicago Kingpin going nowhere. That's why. That's why I asked you. I'm talking about the good shit though. Lots of good shit. You know, he helped his people too. The media. Oh, so you know about Jeff Ford though? Yeah, I ain't just talking. Yeah, he helped his people do a lot of things. Get grants, go to school. Mm -hmm. Good shit. Not the bad shit he did. Mm -hmm. Help the community and shit. Go back to Hollywood. Build all this shit up. You know what I'm saying? The type shit we on. That's tight. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. a real nigga for missing the Jeff Ford on this couch, though. You don't even know that shit finna go far. You don't even know. You feel me? You finna have all the modes. Like, oh, shit. So I don't know what he talking about. Nah, we be on our. We be on our. Them niggas be deep, and they don't play when it comes to Jeff Ford, for real. But that's what's up. Uh, who, who, who are some of y'all favorite Chicago rappers? I can't even listen to the songs. Uh, Chris Brown. 
Chief Keith. So the Chief Keith wave was was heavy in, in Kentucky. Hey, yeah. That bitch was heavy everywhere. Hey, yeah. Damn. So what? So what was it like back then though? Like at the parties, did, did his music make niggas fight? That shit was. I feel like the hood is the same. Everywhere just just a little bit different with the music. Amped it up a little bit. Right. When he, he was going crazy before the Sosa came out. He was a pioneer, so when he came out, it was like, we thought we was the only niggas doing this shit. Look on that CD, I'm like, hell yeah, yeah. Let me fuck with that. So this is the beginning of the tour. Y'all in Chicago tonight. What's some, what's some upcoming cities y'all got out to Chicago? Shit, Walker. Everywhere, huh? Yeah, Sac go to the uh, West Coast. Sacramento, yeah. Houston. That's one. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah, yeah, I ain't never been to New Mexico. That's the one y'all looking forward to the yeah. most? Yeah, Albuquerque. Yeah, I ain't never been to New Mexico either. Yeah. And I'm looking at the dates now, y'all. Denver, Colorado. Might pull up on Dion while we down there. Yeah, y'all got some, uh, y'all definitely got yeah, some lit cities. So, uh, you know, for the but for the for the young shiners that ain't you know got no diamonds in their mouth, you know what I'm saying? They want to be young shiners. What I mean, the young niggas that's coming up. What's a message to the youth that y'all believe? Be yourself. Stay young till you come up. What they gonna tell you? Like age. Shit. Don't come around Shit ain't gonna happen you know, overnight. Shit. Not gonna happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? It's really a grind. You know what I'm saying? You gonna fail sometimes. He will win sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But as long as the wind's out, the way to feel it, it'll be great. Yeah, you know, nice. I like that. I like I like those answers, especially the first one would be yourself, because that go over a lot of people's heads. Yeah. But being yourself is the number one key to success. Up, get caught up in this acting shit. Man. You know, acting, we, we are all day long. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's one thing about one point, no act. See what you get. That's from every nigga around us. That's how most niggas get fucked around. Trying to be something they ain't. Exactly. Exactly. Bro, you look just like ESCG though. Is y'all related? <laughs> nah. Not blood. Oh, that's shit. my blood brother. Though. Damn, it look like it though. I think it's the hell. He had a tell the story for a minute. But I see bro got red zone tied across his neck. And I know G got songs called red zone. Can y'all tell us what the red zone is? Oh, the red zone is a person. Okay. October 2nd, 2020. October 2nd, 2020. So it's been about. One of the original EST members? Yeah. Word. Yeah. Yeah. So what was it about Red Zone though? You know that made him special to EST. Yeah, he's gonna never gonna hold his hold his tongue or speak his mind. And what what he's saying is he's, he was genuine. Yeah, genuine is real. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't gonna shoot cold. He got your best interest at it's all times. At all times, literally. Like he'll say shit. You ain't even know what you're doing. And he's one of them niggas not gonna be scared to tell you when you doing some you know stupid shit. You know, what, what the fuck you doing? What the fuck? And that go from everybody, ain't gonna fuck who it is, you know what I'm saying? For sure. That's what's up, bro. So it seemed like y'all are close knit, a close knit circle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I like to see it because we don't really um, you know, nowadays we don't really get too many rappers from the Kentucky area, you know. Like y'all mentioned Jack Harlow, I don't listen to him. Bryson Tiller, I don't listen to him. You feel me? So I, when I think about Kentucky, I think about either ESCG or Muhammad Ali. That's it. That's all. So now y'all got me wanting to take a trip out there just to <laughs> fuck around out there. Oh, Is there anything to do out there? Yeah, yeah. Come to the trenches. Come on. Y'all got clubs and shit out there? Yeah. Uh, strip club, a lot of bad bitches and shit for you. Come on. Nice hospitality for you. Come on. Yeah. Well, I'm going to slap when y'all get off tour, man. When y'all finish y'all tour and y'all ready to go back home, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, and then it's safe to say. When you say country shit, ain't nothing coming from like the real city. There ain't no horses, there ain't no cows, no shit like that. Dude. Yeah. It's a real city. <laughs> you told me no horses, no cows. Hey, hey, the dude that pulled up on us, what's his name? Armani? What was he from? Where he from? Oh, Louisville. Damn, where he's 
Well, I think he said he was from like somewhere in Indiana that was close, cause like somewhere Indiana close, right? Yeah. Type shit. Yeah, I think he was from Indiana, but close to Louisville, some shit like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got the show tonight. Uh, Avondale Music Hall sold out show. Y'all opening up for ESTG? Uh, no. Y'all open up the whole tour. The whole tour. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Brody set up for us. You know what I'm saying? But gang our fans, you know what I'm saying? Build our, build our shit up. Exactly. You know like, exactly. gonna do what? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, do a whole tour from your shit to put all your niggas on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't see too many niggas doing that. Mm-hmm. You know so how does have it have to ask? Some he already has set up for us. That's what I was gonna mm-hmm. say. How does it feel to have a homie in position? You know what I'm saying? And he able to not only able, but he's willing to. You feel me? Look out for the guys. Like how does that feel? Mm-hmm. You gotta be grateful. Yeah, you gotta be grateful. You gotta, gotta, take, advantage. You gotta take advantage of the opportunity. Be grateful for love that he show. You know, yeah. he got your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure I mean, he always been his whole life. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna never leave the nigga always. If we can't go somewhere with him, he ain't gonna go. Right. I don't give a fuck what he is. This nigga can't go, you know what I'm saying? When he, he ain't going. That's the type of nigga he always been. For sure so that. So what's some um what's some music y'all working on or where can the fans find some music that y'all already got out? Stuff like that. So we just dropped the compilation of Shannon's Out Forever. You can go check it out on Avenue, all platforms, on YouTube, shit. Shine it. What is called? Shine is out forever. Shine is out forever. Mm-hmm. Like an hour, I just shit. dropped a video to uh, a check on track five, Rest in Piss. You can go check it out on YouTube. You said a song called Rest in Piss? Rest in Piss. Uh oh. That's a diss record. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what you want me to play right now? <laughs> Play them, play them. That's gonna be the closing song. I don't want to be dissing nobody. I don't, you know, I don't want to create no ops with no niggas in Kentucky. So much you played that rest in piss song. But uh, man, I enjoyed talking to y'all today, man, and I'm glad y'all was here. Uh, Ski Mike, Lil Mike, I forgot your name. I'm sorry, we are gonna cut this part out. Just say it for me. See, that's too damn long. What he said, Big Bad Wolf. Big bad wolf killer. Big bad wolf killer. That's what you can tell your hoes when they ask you what your name, man. (laughs) (laughs) They like, huh? (laughs) Big bad wolf killer. You heard me. Well, that's what's up, man. Like I said, once again, Brody. Uh, Any shout outs and close remarks y'all can lead the people? Man, check us out. You know what I'm saying? EST Wolf Mike, EST Ski Mike. YouTube, Instagram, all that shit. Twitter. Y'all go follow us home. No rap cap going on. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> but there y'all have it, man. We got EST in Chicago. We got EST on the couch. Hey, shout out to ESTG. Shout out to everybody shine together. All the young shiners. Louisville, Kentucky to Chicago. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Royalty Productions. Gang. DJ, you go crazy.